All right, folks, it's Josh at Home at 30, and I'm here to give some career advice to college freshmen. I graduated college in 2013, so I'm old as dirt. All right, I meet college freshmen these days. They call me sir. I don't like it, but they do it. Just goes to show you how old I am. It, it is what it is. But I'm a man of the people, so this is a video for college freshmen who want to build a successful career when they graduate and not have to ask their parents for money to go out with their friends to see a movie. And since you're probably new to this college thing, just getting your feet wet, just went to your first party a couple weeks ago, just found out where the gym is, hey, I get it, but college is just a training ground for your career, so it's time to get going, time to get serious. The more work you do now, the less work you have to do later on, so you've come to the right place. I got serious about my job search during my junior year, and my biggest mistake was not getting that internship the summer before my senior year. Really set me back, man. Really set me back. But you won't make that mistake because you're going to listen to these free nuggets of wisdom that I'm about to dispense free of charge. Without further ado, here's my advice to set you up to start a successful career when you graduate. My first piece of advice is to start researching potential careers now. I didn't know what I wanted to do until I was a senior in college, and then when I went to get my master's degree, I decided I wanted to do something completely different. So the sooner you figure out the type of work that you want to do, the more focused you can be with your efforts and the better results you'll get. But before you get ahead of yourself and start doing all this research online and going to the library and pouring through books, there's a little self-reflection that you need to do first. So what type of work do you like to do? Are you a numbers person? Do you like giving presentations? Are you okay sitting in front of a computer for eight hours a day? Or do you need to be more active, interacting with people, telling stories, writing papers, interviewing people? These are the details that will ultimately put you in the best position to succeed since you won't be setting yourself up for failure and doing things that you're not comfortable with. As you research potential careers, pay attention to the job descriptions. If most things in the job description aren't things you're good at or things you'd be happy doing on a day-to-day -day basis, it's probably not a good fit for you for the long term. The ideal scenario is to find the right type of work in an industry you're passionate about. For example, if you're creative, you like working on projects, enjoy connecting with people and anticipating their needs, marketing might be a great fit for you. But if you love cars and don't care for fashion, it's better for you to find a role in the automobile industry as opposed to the fashion industry. To get started researching potential careers, I suggest you start with learnhowtobecome.org or collegegrad.com slash careers. My second piece of advice, plan to have an internship every summer. Every summer. When I interviewed for jobs my senior year, I frequently got to the later stages of the interviews in the final rounds, only to be told that I didn't have enough experience. So I was going up against other candidates who had more experience than me, but they weren't talking about job experience. It was the internship experience that I lacked. So now is the time to start looking for useful internships. You can find them through job search sites, your school's career center, or just good old fashioned networking. I think you'd be surprised what your parents, friends, and relatives can do for you in your internship search if you have a clear goal in mind that you can communicate to them. It helps if you know what type of job you're looking for. And listen, it doesn't have to be the perfect internship or the perfect situation. Even if it's unpaid, get an internship where you're doing something you're mildly interested in, where you're not just filing papers and getting everyone coffee, so you're doing some actual productive work, and a couple things will happen. Number one, you'll find out you hate that job or that industry and you can scratch it off your list, or you'll enjoy it and find a potential career path, but either way, you build your network and you'll probably learn something that you can take with you. So, let's wrap this up with a nice little bow on top, internships are a key aspect of starting your career on the right foot. And my last piece of advice, number three, network by reaching out to alumni. It's not what you know, it's who you know, am I right? One of the best ways to network is to reach out to alumni of your fine institution. You'd be surprised how willing people are to help you out just because you're going to the same school that they went to 20 years ago. If your school has some sort of alumni directory or you know how to use LinkedIn, reach out to alumni from your school and learn about the work they do and their experiences. Then you can tell them what you're interested in. 
If you're well prepared and a little lucky, they might help you land one of those internships that you now want so badly. But before you go hitting up people on LinkedIn and getting them on the phone, make sure you have a good foundation of knowledge about your career goals. If you don't know what you're talking about, they're going to pick up on that and it'll feel like they're wasting their time because you're not ready for them to help you out yet. This is called an informational interview. The best case scenario is to talk with someone who's in the same line of work that you're pursuing, but it's also good to broaden your horizons and talk to people in other industries and job roles as well. You really never know what type of job you might fall in love with and what you might learn, so talk to a lot of different people. You don't know what you don't know, so go figure out what you don't know. So that is my career advice for college freshmen. It might sound like a lot, but if you do the small things every day, the momentum will build and you'll find yourself exactly where you want to be when you start interviewing for those jobs. Questions in the comments below. Let me know if there's a topic you'd like me to cover and don't forget to subscribe.